Look at this octopus here. It has not one, not two, but three hearts. Yes, you heard me right. An octopus has three hearts and is an actual true blue blood because it has blue blood flowing through its body. Imagine if we also had three hearts. It would be weird, right? Well, thankfully, we just have one. And let's learn more about it. Anatomy of the heart. The heart is located inside the rib cage, situated behind the sternum between the lungs. It remains enclosed in a double walled sac called the pericardium. It has an outer fibrous layer and an inner serous layer. Between these two layers is a very narrow space called the pericardial cavity, which is filled with the pericardial fluid. The heart looks like a blunt cone, 12 centimeters in length and 9 centimeters in width at the broadest point. Its narrow apex is directed downwards, inclined to the left. There is a transverse groove called the coronary sulcus. Here, we find the coronary artery through which the heart muscles receive blood. The right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body except the lungs through the superior and inferior vena cava. The pulmonary vein brings oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium. If we see the internal view of the heart, we see two upper thin-walled atria and two lower thick-walled ventricles. The right and the left atria pump the blood in the right and the left ventricles respectively. From the right ventricle arises a pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. While the left ventricle has an ascending iota which supplies oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. The two atria are separated by the interatrial septum and the ventricles are separated by the interventricular septum. The wall of the heart is made up of special types of muscles called cardiac muscles. These muscles branch out and cross-connect each other to form a complex net-like arrangement. There are a number of valves present in the chambers of the heart. The right atrioventricular valve lies between the right atrium and the right ventricle. It is called the tricuspid valve as it consists of three flaps. The pointed end of the flaps are projected towards the ventricles. These are attached to the walls of the ventricles through tendons like cords called cordy tendinae. The left AD valve is made up of two flaps and is thus called the bicuspid valve. The pulmonary artery and iota have semilunar valves which prevent the backflow of the blood into the ventricles. Let's summarize. Heart is located inside the ribcage, situated behind the sternum between the lungs. It remains enclosed in a double-walled sac called the pericardium. Human heart has two upper thin-walled atria and two lower thick-walled ventricles. The right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from all parts of the body except the lungs through the superior and inferior vena cava. From the right ventricle arises the pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The pulmonary vein brings oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left atrium. The left ventricle has an ascending iota which supplies oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. The right atrioventricular valve lies between the right atrium and the right ventricle. It is called the tricuspid valve. The left AV valve is called the bicuspid valve. That was all about the human heart. If we tried to draw a map of our circulatory system, it would be more intricate and complex than the map here. 
To know more, all you need to do is explore. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.